Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. That really helps me out, alright? And I really appreciate all your support. And also, also, I hope you guys have been going outside, taking your walks and stuff, since it's such nice weather. Hopefully it's nice weather wherever you ride as well. It's really nice and summery right now. Just summer just started here for me. So I'm going to be heading outside soon after making this video. But while you're here, while you are here, let's go ahead and change a few things. So we have got a little warning here on this cons float in the sword, uh, in the sword class. So I'm just going to set that to F. So the problem was it was a turncation from double to float, which isn't nice. Um, so uh, just put F after that and we'll make sure this constant or literal here is a float. Also, this is a, let's see what happens here. That is a float. We need this to be a float. And that is a float. That is a float. Make sure everything is a float in here so you don't get any problems. And you should be good to go. Once that's done, we're going to get back into... Um, just seeing what is this signed unsigned mismatch so this is a um, this is a int this is a int no problems that is a unsigned that is not an unsigned so what we could do is fix this later that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're not gonna care about that right now it's not that big of a deal let's just jump right into what we're doing so we we were in the enemy class and where is my enemy class I think it's in here hiding so I'm just gonna bring that up and the header file as well I'm just gonna put that into entities and I'm gonna remove a few things so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this class we're gonna remove a few things uh, not entity enemy CPP okay what does an enemy need well probably a movement component hitbox component animation component but not an attribute component and not a skill component I'm just going to go ahead and remove those. See how easy that was? So now we don't have a bunch of unnecessary stuff in our enemy class. And our enemy can do whatever the player can do. All good, all good. Um, everything is fine. I just want to make sure we can render this enemy on screen. At a position using a texture sheet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead into game state. Um, open your game state file. Uh, there you go, and wherever you have your player, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put, enemy. Whoops, can't spell. First of all, you probably wanna, probably want to include that somewhere. Include enemy, and then you probably want to do a class enemy. forward declare that real quick and enemy test enemy boom okay very nice very nice just gonna make that into a pointer real quick um, and once that's done we can just test it out so wherever I have my game state CPP I'm just gonna go ahead and open that and wherever I initialize everything I usually put all my initialization test stuff right here so I'm just gonna put it at the end this and test enemy equals new enemy and I'm gonna put that enemy at 200 200 I don't think there's anything there and then I'm gonna use the players texture sheet player sheet do the exact same thing here just put that in there so now the enemy has the players sheet perfect and the player's animations as well, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now, once that is done, our test enemy is pretty much ready. We just need to make sure we delete test enemy. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I'm recording. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Now, once that's done, go ahead, go down. Um, to render update. Where's player being updated? Player update. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Test enemy update. DT 
And then mouse position view. Probably not going to need that for the enemy. But we'll just keep it for now just to test, uh, test stuff around. And then if we are rendering. So we're rendering the player here. And this is all the GUI stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and render the enemy here. No. Before the tile map. Deferred. So enemy. Render. This. Render. Render texture. I guess it's all the same. Like that. Exactly the same render function. And then we just go ahead and run this. Hopefully it's not going to crash. On me. We still have those issues. Run the new game. Alright. There you go. That is some type of an enemy I'd say yeah that, that yeah yeah something like that um, the reason that's happening is because we don't have an update animation we have the animations here but we don't have the update animation we do have the init in animations right there but updating them is also very important so let's just go ahead down into player CPP and let's see, so once it's idle, I'm going to play the idle animation. Pretty much. I'm just going to take all of these. Alright, might as well just take the whole goddamn function. Okay. And I'm going to put it into enemy.cpp. Right above, update. Just like that. And call this enemy. And we don't have attacking, so I'm going to remove that. And copy this, including the void. Just put it in right here. And remove the enemy part, and you should be good to go for that. And no issues here. Now all we have to do is just call it right there in enemy. And we run this again. Hopefully we'll see our enemy object moving around. Or just standing still. Alright, so enemy is being rendered on top of the player uh, I would rather not like that I'll also I want to I want to make sure this collision so we don't have this this issue here um, which would be great but at least we have it rendered here which is good the re the the collision would be something like this and that's cool and we just pop 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 kill it real quick no problems all good all good um, Feels good, feels good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that is step one, have it rendered. Now, if we were to move the enemy in the game state, I bet it would animate automatically since we have all our systems in place. So what I'm going to do is in the update, in the update, I'm just going to take, copy this, and I'm going to, let's see. Player update tile map, that's fine. Player input update. Good, 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 good. Wherever we have this, right there, right there. I'm just going to move test enemy to the, what is it? To the X. No, that's not correct. Zero to the right should be one. I bet it is one. Let's try that out. Let's see if our test enemy moves. It is moving by itself and animating, no problems. And I'm moving with the enemy. I'm trying to slash this enemy. All right, but it's ignoring collision, obviously, because yeah, it can't, it can't, can't move that way. But that is great. All right, so we have update collision for the player. We could do update collision for this test enemy here as well, just to try it out. Let's see if we can make our enemy um, collide with stuff while moving so it's gonna update hopefully there's some kind of a obstacle here uh, hopefully this rock here all right so it's just stopping so it can't move anymore damn that is that's pretty that's pretty sweet that's pretty sweet I like I like that I like that all right so those systems are in place so our engine kinda you can handle collision with stuff and uh, it feels good feels great <clears throat> now we just need to update our update collision function so it handles stuff more efficiently. Just optimize it a little bit. Since it's checking all the tiles around the player at all times. You probably don't want to do that. You probably want to have another variable here. Variable here which is saying what direction it's going. Um, and kind of check tiles around that. 
if there is a direction. Uh, so pretty much that's how it's going to be. Since collision can only happen if, if the, uh, the entity is moving, pretty much. And then we need to have some type of a collision between entities as well. So player, test enemy, everything can collide. But I'm going to keep that there. So we have kind of a, kind of a nice little, um, what do you call it? Yeah, just structure to it. So that's great. We'll keep our test enemy to play around with. Now, what I want to do in the coming videos is, first of all, I'm going to close this and keep that open probably. There you go. Um, what I'm going to do is just think about how we're going to give the enemy stats. Are we going to use the whatever we have already are we going to use this entity.h what's it called skill component attribute component for the hp and stuff or are we just going to do hp in here and stuff like that so i'm not 100 percent sure of that but what i do know is i'm going to have uh, some drop variables so or a component as well that can drop whatever drops when you die um, we have to think about that a little bit all right, and there were some other things I was thinking about uh, that we can make kind of components out of um, later on in the game. Uh, but we're going to have to think about that a little bit since it's a little complicated. Uh, but to be sure, in the next video, we should be able to attack or start off by, by preparing to attack an enemy at least. So hopefully that's co good enough for you guys. Um, hopefully this was fun and you learned something. That's how you kind of... Uh, animate I guess and and move an enemy like that and also we're gonna add a new tile sheet for the enemy so we're gonna make sure it looks differently and uh, kind of change the speeds of it and everything so it's gonna be cool right but thank you again for watching thanks for sticking around hopefully you learned something and keep working hard if you have any questions go ahead and ask me either on discord or on youtube I haven't been answering questions all that much lately since I don't have so much time um, but as soon as I do, I will get back to it. Anyway, thank you again. Take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.